Hello everyone and welcome to how to guide videos. In this video I am going to talk about Atlas of Living Australia. This is the Atlas about uh, for everyone actually. It's an open access to Australia's uh, biodiversity data it has got and they gather this information from uh, different scientists, different organizations like uh, different institutes like uh, universities, uh, uh, libraries and uh, historical places so they are they have all the information about biodiversity data and um, if someone wanted to know about some species in detail they can just write their the name of the that species and it will and collect their data but if someone don't know that much about that species just they can just write the common name for that uh, thing like if I wanted to know uh, about um, snake so I will just write a snake and the, the whole list of snakes will come and um, you can uh, select whichever you want whichever you are interested in you can select that one and suppose if I wanted to go for this one uh, fire snake so it will give you a little bit of um, much more information about that snake it is not that much in australia it's uh, in the middle of australia is more and, and in other areas are less and uh, if you see here the conservation um, status it is extinct in uh, victoria but i can see one snake is there uh, a couple of snakes there halfway through in Victoria and halfway in uh, uh, New South Wales so uh, you can have uh, lots of information about those snakes all the data is very much um, up to date and uh, now I wanted to um, uh, uh, make a map about uh, how to create a map for those species so um, if I go back again and uh, go to this one and uh, special portal and then that will create a uh, uh, Australian map and then uh, I can uh, look at uh, I, I can boundary draw a polygon or draw a box around that area where I'm interested in or you can write a, a Google location like uh, uh, latitude and long longitudinal uh, orientation and uh, also you can uh, import uh, KML files into this uh, this program I will go for Australia at the moment to explain easily and uh, so in Australia what species I wanted to look for it's a bit bright I'll make a little bit lighter it's very flashy at the moment so if I wanted to know some species like uh, I don't know the name if you do if you know, know the name that would be great proper name otherwise uh, if you suppose and if you wanted to know what type of things you are looking you can go through all this list uh, and it's easy for you to anyone who has got interest otherwise just um, uh, write a common name uh, I'm going to write a snake again uh, and go for uh, the first one yep and next it is going to show where these snakes are located all over Australia and uh, yes it is oh it's all over Australia and if suppose if I wanted to compare this species of snake with other species so I will go and create another layer and click species again and write snake again and this time I will go for this one just to compare which one is all over Australia which one is partial in Australia so we can have some uh, valuable data uh, in our system if someone interested in oh yes see you can see this uh, this other uh, species which I put it in this clean dye snake which is only in uh, western and eastern and southern side of Australia otherwise the first one uh, all over Australia uh, I can use um, mm, 
I can use this uh, heat map as well like a heat map if I press this button here uh, it will show you like a heat map and it um, it will give you the where is the maximum density of that snake av uh, available in Australia and where the light colors is, it shows from zero and red one is 500 plus uh, it shows the density of uh, uh, the that species uh, all over Australia and if I click this one time series animation here you can adjust this uh, in, into a uh, watch into a uh, uh, in different frames like uh, uh, 10, 10 years dif uh, uh, difference or maybe yearly or maybe monthly you can adjust this one and watch a couple of frames if you can create here and see uh, how it looks like and if you click any of the dot here it will give you the information about that snake the family name of that snake uh, and all other details and longitude and latitudinal area where these snakes are uh, available if you want more uh, records about those snakes just view your record and you can have uh, lots of information lot of lots of big data about those snakes you can go through uh, if someone in, is interested in it so in short um, this atlas uh, of living australia is very valuable things uh, even for architects and uh, uh, town planners so uh, i hope you like my video and um, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.